Originally known as the Lands of Kearney, Lord Kearney Castle was a property of the Lindsay Earls of Crawford and their ancestors from the early 14th century. Sir David Lindsay had acquired the estate through marriage to the co-heiress Mary Abernethy in November 1324, and their son Alexander took over the management of Kearney after Mary's death by 1355. Kearney does not seem to have had an eventful history, and the lands may for a short while have passed out of Lindsay hands after the forfeiture of the fourth Earl in 1453 for his part in the Douglas Rebellion. But if so, they soon came back to the family. The castle was probably built in the last quarter of the 15th century by Alexander Lindsay, the second son of the fourth Earl of Crawford, as the seat of his land. It was after the death of his nephew at Flodden in 1513 that Alexander unexpectedly succeeded him as the seventh Earl. Alexander was probably in his late 60s by this date and may have been as old as 76 when he died in 1517. Lord Kearney Castle was known as Earl Beardy's Castle, that is the fourth Earl, but it's more likely the later Alexander who built it and an association made in error with a famous individual. It was at Lord Kearney Castle that the eighth Earl died in 1542, having also lived to a great age, he was 71, and survived attempts on his life by his son and heir, who was forfeited, and died in 1541. In his will, the Earl bequeathed Kearney to David Lindsay of Edsel, who also succeeded him as Earl of Crawford. It's not clear whether Lord Kearney Castle then passed to David's son Lord Edsel in 1558 at his father's death, or back to David, the 10th Earl of Crawford, the son of the parricide, but the castle fell into disuse by the 17th century and was for a while used as an Episcopal chapel before being used for agricultural storage. One or two thoughts as to Sir David Lindsay of Lord Kearney. It's not absolutely clear if this Sir David Lindsay was the same who wrote the famous Scottish satire of the Three Estates that was performed at Cooper's Castle Hill many years ago in the yard of the old school up there. The name is the same, the area associated with them seems to be the same, and the period is certainly there or thereabouts. But I can't say for certain that the playwright and Lord Kearney's Sir David are one and the same but it seems at least likely, or possible perhaps. And if that's the case, then it seems equally possible that the play could have been written at Lord's Kearney, which does introduce a certain extra aura to the place and might underscore the need to try to ensure that it doesn't fall apart any more than it already has, which would be a shame indeed.